What's up everyone? Today we're gonna paint an elephant with watercolor. Uh, shout out to my girl for filling my head with elephants and giving me the idea. So I went ahead and got an image from Google of an elephant. Um, so the first thing you want to do before you start painting is definitely to draw it out. So I just did a quick outline, uh, light pencil. If you press, if you press too hard, it's going to show through all the paint, so you want to be as light as you can. Um, so for this, I'm only going to paint the elephant part, not the background. So I'm only going to use two colors, um, ultramarine blue and a Van Dyke brown. Um, mix that together and you got like a gray color. And then if you add more blue to it, you'll have stuff like these shadows here, which has a little bit more blue in it. And then everything else, it has this gray and... Some areas like here in the ear are just more brown. So watercolor is, is uh, the best way to do it is you work in layers. So we're going to do a quick layer first of like a light gray, um, except for the tusks. Um, they're very light white, so if we go over that in gray, once you get a color down, you can't really take it up. Well, you can, but you, you never get as white as the paper again. So if you want something bright white, you have, can't put any paint on it. So I have on my palette some blue and brown mixed together with a lot of water. So to make it light, you're just going to have a lot of water. So we'll do that first. It's just everything. Very light gray color. I'm just using a small brush because it's a pretty small painting. But if you're doing something bigger, you might want to use a big flat brush to cover a lot of area. So keep dipping in paint in the water and then adding it to everything. Just go over everything like that, very light. work pretty fast too. You don't want to go too slow and have one part dry up and then once you go over that dry part again you can get some different colors, different shades. So that's everything there. So now we want to, we can just add layers from there. Everything is wet now so once you add more to it it's going to bleed into the rest so if you want to get it darker it's going to bleed into everything so sometimes you might want to wait till it dries a little bit for this if i'm going to paint this dark shadow here you might want to wait for everything to dry first a little bit give it a couple minutes uh, because if you just add dark in it's just going to start bleeding into everything um, but for now i'm just going to go right in and start with some of the the medium shades of gray like right in there because it's cool if it blends in, it's going to look good. So we'll just get some areas right here, a little bit on the ear, the mouth. And just, just do what you see on the picture, wherever you see darker colors, just add that. And I'm still just using blue and brown mixed together to give a gray color. You don't even need to use black. You can even add more brown than blue and we can have just you can see the brown come out a little bit. You can also, if you want to blend the colors you have into the rest, you could just get water on your brush and kind of do that. 
move it around to blend it into everything else. I'm going to add a couple of spots wherever I see on the picture where it's darker. So now I'm going to switch to a tiny brush to get some spots of brown that are on the tusk. Right in here. So we want to have that bright white color, that's why we didn't put any gray on it. So we're just going to add the little spots of brown. So just add a little bit of brown to your mixture on your palette. And just remember, whatever you see, just go for it. <laughs> Once you're done with everything, you can add the textures. Once everything's dry, you can see in an elephant there's so much like, little wrinkles and stuff. So you can use your tiny brush to get all that. But uh, you got to wait for that to dry first. So you can just keep working on parts of the painting that you want to add to. And you can leave, let other parts dry, like over here. We haven't touched it in a while, so it's drying up. And then we can add the darker color to it, so it won't bleed into everything else. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Mix some colors together, brown and blue, and this time I have less water, so it's going to be darker. The more water you add to it, the lighter it's going to be. So I can add that shadow, and just add shadows wherever you see them. Over here on his butt, there's more blue, so I added more blue to it. Switch back to my tiny brush to get some of these little areas here. And a little bit of texture.
more brown in the ear. Shadow underneath here. So you can see here, this was still wet. So if you go and try to add little texture into it, you can't because it's still wet. So you gotta kinda leave that till it dries. But you can add some textures where it's dry. So over here on his little elbow thing. And there's your elephant. <laughs> so you can keep working with it to get some of the textures in there, let it dry a little bit, add some stuff. But that's pretty much it. Anyone can do this. It's not that hard. Just a lot of practice. All right, happy panning until next time. Maybe I'll get to the background.